Pueblo people are probably the earliest uh, farmers in, in the southwest of, of any uh, indigenous group. And certainly there is a, a very graphic history of, of, of the technologies as well as the practice of farming uh, going back, uh, you know, over three or four thousand years uh, in New Mexico. Uh, and, and I think that that's a very, very important history to understand uh, and to begin to reflect on because in, in earlier times, uh, uh, food actually was grown in a variety of different kinds of contexts that allowed for a variety of different kinds of technologies, farming technologies, as well as, as uh, uh, access to water. So, you know, you find evidence uh, in uh, some of our Pueblo ruin sites of, uh, you know, mulch gardens, you know, uh, rock mulch gardens. In other places you have waffle gardens. In other places you have uh, gardens that are fed by small streams that, that uh, are, are located adjacent to those, to those fields. So uh, what I'm saying is that Pueblo and peoples were practicing uh, multiple kinds of technologies as it was related to, to agricultural uh, you know, uh, production. Uh, I think uh, as a result of, of uh, our Spanish land grants and then later the American uh, uh, presence in New Mexico, a lot of uh, our ability to move around within the landscape, within our territory, was significantly curtailed. So that now, pretty much most, most Pueblo uh, boundaries are defined uh, by, by law and also by uh, treaty, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, to the sites that, that you currently find the Pueblos in. Um, and, and that uh, really begins to, to be problematic because in, in some ways it doesn't allow you to move around in the landscape as we once did, uh, you know, uh, creating, it is said that uh, anywhere from 70 to 150 years was the maximum time a Pueblo village would be situated at a site, unless it was a very good site and, and uh, you could replenish the, the soil resources as well as the water resources. But that's why you find in, in New Mexico so, so many uh, Puebloan sites, uh, village sites. And, and of course, wherever you find a village site, you're going to find also uh, fields and, and, and the varying kinds of technologies that were used by Pueblo and peoples, you know, to, to uh, you know, create, create their food source. Uh, and, and so in modern times, you know, we have uh, been, in a sense, uh, placed on, as you would call them, reservations, uh, Pueblo land grants which allows us, and, and some are large and some are very small, uh, we don't have the same kind of mobility within our landscape as, as we did traditionally or historically. Uh, and this then requires us to use, um, in many cases, uh, Western techniques of farming, uh, as opposed to being able to do and, and utilize some of our historic traditional techniques of farming. Uh, and as I said, as, as, um, as our uh, Pueblos evolved, you know, through time, especially after World War II and, and the advent of wage work, uh, you find that uh, few and fewer people were farming and are farming uh, in, in, their, in their respective reservations, uh, respective land grants. And so I think those are the, those are the real issues that uh, Pueblo peoples, for instance, would have to begin to think about in terms of the current uh, land base that they hold, how to best utilize that land base, uh, and in, in some cases reintroduce farming uh, in, 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 a pla in, a, in, a place, in places where we once had farming but no longer do, uh, and also in terms of how to use, best use our water resources.